The Mueller report has been a big boom for at least one local bookstore, so much so they pulled an all-nighter trying to get copies out. WBZ's Nick Giovanni has more now from Cambridge. But the owner of the Harvard bookstore just knocked out a 24-hour workday trying to keep up with demand for a hard copy of the Mueller report. He was here at 9 a.m. yesterday, locked up at 8.56 this morning, just in time for the store to reopen four minutes later. We really did not know um, what the demand was going to be. And, uh, but as we saw both the web orders uh, grow and people just walking into the store and willing to wait until they could get their copy, it was pretty clear that um, we were going to sell a lot of these. Within two hours of the reports released to the public, Jeff Mayerson had all 400 plus pages hot off the press in its redacted form. Yeah, literally, it's still warm. You know, we're one of the few bookstores in the in the country that has one of these machines, and we were able, within basically two hours of the release of the report, we're able to start getting copies into customers' hands. So that that is sort of special, and we're we're pretty proud about that. The Harvard bookstore had tweeted they were prepared to keep printing all night if they had to, and that they did, printing out a book every 10 minutes. It turns out there was a market for it. People lined up to read what's in it, what's not in it, and what's between the lines. I am hoping to get a fuller understanding of what, you know, what has happened. Emerson tells me he nearly sold 200 books yesterday alone, both in online sales and in store, to the point where they actually had to shut down sales on the website to keep up with demand. Reporting in Cambridge, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.